News broke recently that Michigan has two new conference mates starting in 2024, USC and UCLA. Just a couple California schools headed to the Big Ten. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, does it? But then again, what really makes sense in college football these days anyways? We've got super conferences forming. We've got NIL deals. 17-year-olds making millions of dollars before ever playing college football at all, which I know is nothing new. I know it's been happening for years, but now it's legal. It's all above the table, and there's a lot more of it going on, I believe. We also have the transfer portal, which is also heavily affected by NIL, and it's basically free agency. So the Big Ten was 10, then 11 with Penn State in the 90s, then Nebraska, which made it 12, and then Rutgers and Maryland made it 14. Now it's going to be 16 in 2024, and who knows who else is coming. Feels like we're headed toward two giant conferences now, SEC and the Big Ten. I'm not sure what the divisions are gonna look like. It would make sense to keep the teams that are on the West Coast of the United States in the Western division of the Big Ten, but they might do away with divisions altogether. We really don't know. But it might be a good thing to give Wisconsin and Iowa a little more competition in the West because the East has been a lot better. If you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. If you're not, why don't you go ahead and do that right now? I got a lot more Michigan content coming before the season and of course during the season. Let's take a look at these new division foes starting with USC. First season was 1888. Lincoln Riley in his first year as head coach, of course located in LA. An all-time winning percentage of over 70, a good all-time bowl record, and 11 claimed national titles. Last one in 2004 with good old Matt Leinart and Reggie Bush. They've won the Pac-10 slash 12 39 times, and it's got their rivalries listed as Notre Dame, UCLA, and Stanford. Seven Heisman winners in the history of USC. Not too shabby. Current uniform. I give USC's uniforms uh, like a seven and a half or eight out of 10. I've always thought they're classic. They kind of have a bit of a uh, barbecue sauce and honey mustard feel though, but solid, classic. The Cardinal and Gold are the official colors. Fight on. This nifty little site called Winsipedia has the all-time head-to-head -head games laid out pretty nicely. So as you can see in recent years, USC has dominated games played against Michigan. Six and four all time, including one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those being Rose Bowls. And USC winning six out of the last freaking seven. Cool. The last time they played was in 2007 in the Rose Bowl. And it was about a month after Michigan lost in heartbreaking fashion to the Buckeyes. Um, lost in heartbreaking fashion to the Buckeyes is something that can be said a lot lately, but not last year, baby. And hopefully we're turning that around. Now on to the other new member of the Big Ten, UCLA, for season 1919. Current head coach is Chip Kelly, and he's still kind of trying to turn things around at UCLA. I think they've had a better season the last couple years. Uh, their home stadium is the Rose Bowl. Their all-time record is not as good as USC's. It's only a 577 win percentage. They've won the Pac-10 slash 12 17 times. Rivalries are USC and Cal. And one national title one Heisman winner in their history. Their uniforms are also pretty classic. I've always been a fan of gold on uniforms. Sometimes their alternates get a little crazy, but overall I think UCLA's got a pretty solid uniform. I'd give them probably an eight also. One thing that I was surprised to find out, and maybe you are too, or maybe you already knew this, but Michigan has played UCLA more than they've played USC in their history. So kind of cool. And also cool is the 8-3 all-time record against UCLA, although in the last matchup, UCLA got the dub. They've met one time in the Rose Bowl, and that was in 1983, a.k.a. the year that I was born, a.k.a. I'm almost 40. You know, I don't think that the SEC is done expanding, and I don't think the Big Ten is done expanding either. A lot of people are saying they think Notre Dame will eventually come to the Big Ten. And let's be honest, they've always been a fit for the Big Ten. They've always been a team that geographically is right there uh historically a great team and they have the prestige it just makes sense so i i think it makes sense for notre dame maybe the reason they don't do it is because they're kind of their own they're on their own island they have their own tv deal with nbc and all that stuff but if anybody else is going to join the big 10 it seems like notre dame might be one of those teams i've heard people say cincinnati too i don't know let me know down in the comments who you think might be next after these Cali schools. Go Blue!